Sunday School friends, it's Mrs. Russo. We are in the first week of Lent, and in Lent, we spend extra time and extra attention drawing ourselves closer to God. Our word for this week is pray. Pray. So I want to tell you a story today about the little arms. See if you can think what little arms are before I get to it. Here we go. It was about the year A.D. 672 in a monastery in the German Alps. Every day, Brother John measured, mixed, rolled, kneaded, and baked hearty breads, cookies, and cakes for the people of the village to buy. He worked in the bakery kitchen with Brother Boniface, who allowed him to create special treats for the children he loved. Are these the sacks of flour for the Lenten bread? Brother Boniface asked Brother John one morning. Next Tuesday is Shrove Tuesday, and we will need to begin baking early that morning if we are to make enough bread for the entire village. I know, Brother John replied. After the shriving bell rings at midnight, Lent begins. Then we will eat less and pray more, he added as he crossed his arms and put his hands on his shoulders in prayer as he had learned to do. And then, Brother Boniface, it will be time for little arms. Try it. You doing it? You might have already seen the picture at the top of the page to make it a clue. See the pretzels. Just look the pretzels. Yes, 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 yes. What are little arms? Brother Boniface asked in a puzzled voice. I haven't heard of them before. In my country of Italy, Brother John told him, we make our bread into the shape of little arms. We mix the flour and water, then twist the dough into the shape of praying arms to remind us that Lent is a special time to pray. That is a wonderful type of Lenten bread, Brother Boniface said. Will you teach me to make these little arms? And so Brother John taught Brother Boniface to make little arms. When the little arms were ready to come out of the oven, Brother Boniface smiled and laughed. Oh, in our language, he said, we call your little arms pretzels. <laughs> and so it happened that pretzels became part of Lenten tradition even to this day. You may be used to thinking of pretzels as heart-shaped, but if you turn one upside down, you'll see the shape of crossed arms. Yeah! So you can make pretzels. You can bake them from the freezer section, or you can just take them out of the bag, open them out of the bag, and turn them around and notice that though the shape of those pretzels look just like praying hands if you pray this way. So sometimes, do you ever, when you, did you ever get a blessing at communion instead of um, asking for the bread? If you want to get a blessing, you put your arms like this and you get a blessing. So let's say a prayer together um, to finish off our time together today. The Lord be with you. O oh God of peace, who taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. See you next time, friends.